I had some prisms stashed away and figured with the basketball season coming up, let's have some fun. Let's try to find a cracked ice Wemby, which we haven't been able to so far. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have some Prism Retail. It was one of my favorite sets from this past year. And unfortunately, I was not able to pull a Wemby Cracked Ice in the pink, the orange, or the base silver, if you want to call it that. So I figured, why not? Let's take a shot at a couple different products I had left on my shelf. These hanger packs have the orange cracked ice. They also have the white ice number to 35. These were a hot product when they were out. Very hard to find. I think this is my last one left I have stashed away. We have these value packs, which these have the red, blue, and white parallels. So no cracked ice, but still looking for a Wemby. And then we have, I think my favorite product, but we definitely didn't really hit much this year with it, the Monopoly Prism. We're looking for anything numbered, especially the uh, any of the millionaires. The Shimmers have the Money Blast, which would be an awesome insert to pull. But like I said, not been very lucky with these Monopoly Blasters, and we've, we've ripped quite a few of them. We've got the Mega Box. This is the Walmart variation. So these have the pink cracked ice in them. These haven't been so bad for us. Kind of hit or miss. But like I said, we have still yet to pull a cracked ice Wemby. So that's why we added it to the group. These do have numbered cards. The teal out of 225, but that's about it for the Mega Boxes. And then we have the first product that got released at the retail level really early. If you can remember back, I want to say these came out in like January when they weren't supposed to. But these have the standard cracked ice, have the red seismic and blue seismic, as well as the green pulsar, which are uh, a little bit higher of a ceiling than, than the mega boxes, but... We'll start here. Again, we are looking for anything Wemby just to add to our collection. We do have a couple base Wembys that are set to go off to PSA. Unfortunately, we have a handful of them that are either marked, scratched. But uh, we'll see what we can find. Like I said, Prism is one of my favorite sets. This year was an especially a, a fun year given that the Wemby hunt was on, although it made this product and all these products extremely hard to find. So we'll get that first pack out of the way. Nothing too special. These blasters are kind of hard to hit, you know, anything of real substance in them. Kind of hit or miss, but like I said, a little bit higher of a ceiling than the Mega Boxes. Our first crack dice, we got a Johnny Davis, Markel Foltz on the back. I think I was watching a YouTube video with them saying that Markel Foltz is not on an NBA roster going into the 2024-25 season, which kind of crazy. Kenyon Martin Jr. with the green. It's a Halliburton. DeAndre Hunter on the back. Now, what was your favorite Prism product at the retail level this year? Like I said, I like the Monopoly set, but definitely did not hit anything with it. We got an Ant with the dominance. Behind him, Andre Drummond, the cracked ice. Austin Rivers on the back. I think the only the only product that I wasn't very fond of were the value packs. And it just comes down to uh, 
There's a Vucevic. Green. Yeah, I guess it just depends on how much you got the packs for, because some places were selling them for 15, others were 20, 25. Same thing with the hanger packs. Dwayne Wade with the green. DeJounte Murray, the cracked ice. So that blaster was definitely a dud. Not really anything too crazy in it. Going to move on to the mega box. Try to hunt for the pink cracked ice Wemby. Of course, we'll take a teal as well, but I think we've only pulled one teal in all the mega boxes we've ripped. So, at least for us, they're they're not too frequent. But yeah, these mega boxes were fifty nine ninety nine at Walmart at the time when they were released. There are ten cards per pack. Five packs per box. I think you get two cracked ice in every pack. So your chances of, of hitting a, a pink cracked ice Wemby are a little bit higher than the blasters. But let's see if we can find one here. Got Amari Bailey, Andre Jackson Jr. Got a Trey Young with the dominance. Backwards card, got a Zach Levine. Their first pink cracked ice. I'm in Thompson with the silver. Looks like we got a Gary Payton, Kenyon Martin Jr. with the pink cracked ice. Nothing too crazy in that first pack. Yeah, Prism is definitely one of those sets where it is hard to hit, you know, anything decent, but the opportunity is always there. These packs starting off with the cards in the front that are backwards. Kind of throwing me off here. Got Keontae Johnson. Got a Vince Carter. Julian Strother. Manual quickly behind him, and I see a Spurs logo. We'll see what we can find. And it's him. I think we have one. Let's hope this is a pink cracked ice. Looks pretty clean on the back. Flip it over. There we go. So it's our first Wemby cracked ice. We will definitely take it. Let me flip it around here. I'm just checking the edges. Kind of in the light. Definitely pretty clean. We will take it. Again, it's our first cracked ice in all the prism that we've opened. Put him off to the side and pop it in a sleeve and a top loader here in a second. Pat Bev and Eric Gordon. But, man, I am definitely happy that we finally pulled one. I do like the pink cracked ice. Definitely a cool-looking parallel. Hopefully we can add an orange in the hanger pack but we we will definitely take the pink just popping it into a top loader and we'll take another look at the card yeah, definitely pretty clean doesn't look like there's any scratches any of the marks on the face, back is pretty clean. We will take it. Definitely an awesome pull. That's why we decided to, to rip these boxes today. I know it's not numbered, but from a personal collection standpoint, we are just stockpiling Wemby's, and like I said, we were looking for a cracked ice. So mission accomplished with the Mega Box. Again, hopefully we can pull an orange cracked ice out of the hanger pack when we get to that. But let's see what else this mega box has in it. We got a base scoot. Magic Johnson. Got a Noah Clowney, the instant impact. Got a Mike Conley. Steven Adams with the pink. Jalen Slauson with the silver. 
to Mike Conley with the pink. Mac McClung, dunk champion. Yeah, definitely made the rip worth it. I don't think the value of any of the cracked ice cards are going for what they once were earlier in the year, but again, these are going to my personal collection, so I will definitely take any Wemby's we can find. Got Jamal Murray. Got a Chris Paul. Flip these around here. Charles Barkley and Chris Paul with the pink ice. Josh Hart with the silver. Last pack of this mega box. Again, this is the Walmart configuration, so these are $59.99. I'm sure if they came out at this time of the year, they'd probably add another $5 to them. Seems like most of the mega boxes, especially at Target now, are coming in at $64.99. Kind of crazy. Got a Josh Giddy there, a Tyrese Maxey. I saw the Spurs logo. I was like, there's no way they're going to put two Wemby's, two cracked ice Wemby's in the same box. Gabe Vincent, Jared Allen, and a Sir Jabari Rice on the back. So, yeah, that, that box was definitely, uh, definitely a good one. I have a couple left on my shelf of the mega boxes and – Definitely grab the right one there. Grab the one with the Wemby in it. But let's get to the Monopoly Blaster. These were a Target exclusive. They were $29.99. However, most, if not all, the Monopoly boxes I picked up, I was able to grab them when they had the buy one, get one half off, or the buy $60 and get $20 off when they were running it on Target's website and in store on all board games which these kind of applied to with that sale so i did stock up when i had the opportunity i think i bought probably 15 boxes in total i got a couple left got a jimmy butler there with the purple in our first pack these boxes have not been nice to me like i said earlier in the video but i think this is my favorite set just because there are so many different cards that you can get Tons of numbered cards, tons of variations, parallels, SP inserts are awesome looking. I've not seen one in person besides at a few card shows, but the ceiling is pretty high. The value of these cards is not as high as the, oh, looks like we got something in the back. But yeah, the value of these cards definitely nowhere near the base prism set. And we have a handshake. Looks like Emmanuel Quickly. Is it an orange handshake? Definitely a cool card. Not numbered, so it's one of the, the SP parallels, but nice little color match, even though I don't believe he plays for the Knicks anymore. But we'll definitely take it. Cool looking insert. I think the only other kind of crazy insert we've pulled was the Jimmy Butler running man back in one of our, it was like one of our first videos that we made on this channel. Jokic, AD, the purple wave on the back. Yeah, when you're getting these boxes for essentially $20 a piece, it's a really fun rip. As long as you're not paying too much for these. Got a LeBron and a Giannis. Chris Middleton, Derek Lively on the back. Last pack here. It's a blaster. Not too crazy, but again, always a fun box to rip. Brandon Ingram, Brandon Miller. Case and Wallace, and a Jalen Brown. Not too shabby. Got the orange handshake, Emmanuel Quickly. 
and pop him into a uh, top loader real quick. Might be one of the the only pulls that we get. Knowing that the value packs have not been too kind to us. I mean, I guess in general, Prism hasn't been too kind, kind to us on this channel, but we're still ripping it. We're still having fun with it. Like I said, I still got a couple boxes stashed away. Don't know if I'm going to open them or hang on to them for a while, but if you watch the channel, you'll find out, and most likely over the next few months, we'll be getting into a handful of them. But let's hope we can find a Wemby red, white, and blue. Got a Prosper here. Got a Ray Allen behind him. We'll flip these over, see what these are. Looks like they're just base. Got a Case and Wallace with the Emergent. Jordan Poole. We'll take that. Got a Kobe Brown behind him with the silver. Vuksevich with the red, white, and blue. Jared Vanderbilt, Robert Covington. And some base cards on the back. So definitely not a crazy value pack there. I believe I, I picked these up at Target as well. They were $14.99 when you could find them at Target. Like I said, other stores were selling these at $19.99. I want to say Myers, if you have a Myers around you. Those were $24.99 there. Got a Rudy Gobert, Jokic, Jalen Suggs. Hey, we'll take that. Global Reach Wemby. Add it to the collection. I'm actually not sure if we have that insert. I know we have multiple other Wemby inserts, but I don't know if we have that one. Got a Jaime Jaquez with the Instant Impact Silver. Ray Allen behind him. Colin Castleton. Looks like our base on the back. Nothing too crazy. Pretty standard pack there. We'll definitely take the Wemby, though. I think these inserts are probably a few bucks at this point. If you wanted to find one, you know, on eBay or you know, whatnot, if you're buying singles, you could probably pick really any of the inserts from any set, you know, of Wemby for a couple bucks. So if you're looking to get your hands on a few Wembys, not break the bank. I know the inserts not too crazy when it comes to uh, holding value, but it's a good place to start if you want a couple Wemby cards. All right, last product that we're ripping. It is the Hanger Pack. These are very fun. Ceiling is very high, but again, just have not had the best of luck with these things. We are looking for the Orange Cracked Ice Wemby. So hopefully we can pull one in this single hanger pack that we are ripping. These hanger packs were anywhere between $19.99 and $29.99, depending on where you bought them from. Again, these have the orange cracked ice, but they also have the white prisms out of 35. So again, the ceiling on these are a little bit higher than the other products, just because they have the lower numbered card in them. If you can find one, that is. Got a Taylor Hendricks, got a Lori Markinen. Let's just flip all these at once. There's a bowl, bowl with the silver. Chet with the orange, Lori Markinen. Got a Denny in there. Jimmy Butler, Jordan Walsh. Let's see if we can find a Wemby base in the back here. Andre Drummond to finish us off. So nothing too crazy. Very happy we were able to pull the Pink Ice Wemby out of the Mega Box. Other boxes, to be completely honest, were not that great, but still had a great time ripping them. Again, Monopoly, I think, is my favorite, even though we don't have the best of luck with it. I think with the ceiling being as high as it is and as many numbered cards and parallels that are out there, 
Definitely a fun set to rip if you can still get your hands on it. But let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite product to rip this past year with Prism? I know we're probably not going to be seeing a lot of it, if any of it, on the shelves anymore. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. If you have, it is much appreciated. And as always, good luck breaking. Good luck breaking.